Hi guys, Marvel from MemoTD speaking. In today's video, we will unbox this 3070 Founders Edition. And then, because, because this will be too quick, so I need to extend the video and we will place the water block on it. Uh, you have already seen uh, the unboxing of the EK water block for Founders Edition of 3070. So, without further ado, let's go and unbox this graphic card. And then, uh, uh, then come, uh, I would say, some kind of a cut section where I will uh, open the card, uh, replace all the thermal pads, and put the block on it. So let's go and do this. Uh, yes, maybe some of you have noticed that uh, the package is a bit, I would say, I don't know what to say, damaged, but looks used. And yes, it is. Uh, this card is not the new one, it's the second hand card, but why not? Uh, I have uh, approved uh, delivery supplier, so I am 100% sure that this card is working and everything is fine. So why to pay twice as more if you don't need to? Just saying. So 3070 Founders Edition. Beautiful card. As you can see, uh, right now it's small and we will make it even smaller. That's perfect. What next we have? Yes, some kind of, I don't know what, warnings. Cable, I am not sure and I don't know it, but this kind of a cable doesn't look as a stock one. But I don't care, I will use uh, the custom cable anyway later, so doesn't that really matter? And next here is some kind of a Quick start guide from NVIDIA And that's absolutely everything What do you have in the box? So everything important is done and now we can go and start to change uh, no, first remove the heatsink and then place the water block. So let's go. And here is the tricky part. We need to remove this and this uh, probably it is a fan fan connectors and to be honest I have no clue how these connectors should be removed. That 
we will be lucky to put it down. And yes, we are. Perfect. So here is opened uh, the heatsink, and here is the motherboard. The motherboard is really small, and as you can see, it was definitely used because here is some kind of a dust, and here is a lot of dust either. This is pretty solid. And now we can let's we can have a look at it. Okay, pretty solid. I will undust it later. Let's put it aside. Perfect. Not that much of a screws in compare, for example, to a previous generation where I uh, was that lucky that I was possible I had a possibility to open the 2080 Ti and it was like 30 screws or 40 screws it's like endless amount of screws to open this card and change the thermal pads here we can just undust it it's quite some dust okay Let's take the IPO and start with the cleaning.
Oh boy, what a journey. Now guys, as you can see, the block itself looks perfect. So from the front side, it is a nice small GPU. From the side, standard pin, a standard connector for the 3070 generation founders edition and nice shiny background which is full of my fingerprints which I will clean the later and the downside of the book yeah it's a beautiful I love it I love it a lot it's a decent how you can see just a tiny part of uh, the PCB it's very very nice and the PCB itself is yeah from this side is visible but I don't mind that much from this side the PCB is covered just fine what a journey and now we are at the end of our video and that's the final final output nice beautiful water block shiny a lot of fingerprints but so small so cute so ek <laughs> now i i'm very proud of myself because this change of block was a bit tougher than i expected at the very beginning and i hope that uh, you will enjoy it, the process in a shortcut so guys thank you for watching i hope that you enjoyed it and have a great day. Bye.